Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Casey here in East Tennessee, in the hills of East Tennessee. It is October 21st, I think. It is like 80 degrees today, so things have definitely warmed up. Let me see what the temperature is in here. I have a little Govee thermometer in here, and it's showing 88. But we're at 34.8 humidity, so that makes it feel much better. The humidity is gone. That is one of the glorious things about fall here in East Tennessee is the humidity finally drops off and it makes a huge difference. So I thought I would talk a little bit about my greenhouse and kind of what I do to prepare my greenhouse for the winter time. Now there is a lot of uses for a greenhouse. One of them can just be to store plants that can't live outside in the winter time. And that is something that I do do as well. I have succulents, I have tropicals, house plants, and also I use mine for seed starting. Everybody can seed start even in the springtime, just probably about maybe six weeks early because at that point they're probably going to get too tall to be inside under lamps and they will start getting leggy. So you got to kind of time that. But in here, I can pretty much start them much earlier because I do have a heated greenhouse. So I do prepare things for the garden just to get it like a jump start. Last year I started tomatoes early, which allowed me to have tomatoes before July. Normally it's like late July before I have the first tomato. And last year they were much earlier because I did start my tomatoes in late January, early February. And it turned out really good actually. I've also grown them in here in the winter to have food during the winter. I've done cherry tomatoes. They really worked out pretty good as well. So there's things like that. I would like to do some more experiments of having things in the greenhouse over the winter time. My greenhouse is south facing, so it does get a lot of sun. And then the north side, which is back here, is a block wall into my basement, which makes my greenhouse super efficient. And I would advise anybody who is going to do a greenhouse like that and they're able to adjoin it to their house or to like a basement, it's just really the perfect scenario. I think it keeps my greenhouse a lot warmer. It keeps those north winds off here and it just gives me the sunny side. But it also has a covered area, which is under my porch, which does allow to have a shaded side of the greenhouse. And when I first built this greenhouse, I didn't think that was gonna be important. I didn't think, I'm like, why would you need shade in a greenhouse? But after having the greenhouse three years, I will tell you, the first year I realized that it was so important to have a shaded area because there's a lot of plants that do not want stark sun all the time. As you can see, I even have shade cloth up here. I've had shade cloth all summer long and my plants did a lot better with the shade cloth because the sun can get really intense in a greenhouse. So it gave me options to keep plants out a little further out in this area during the summer but I have a lot of plants that really enjoy this side of the greenhouse that gets dappled sunlight in the middle or just indirect sunlight or morning sun. Very, very beneficial. And I've got a clean in here, guys. And we've done a lot like remodeling and stuff in here and I just haven't got around to it yet. But um, this is my seed starting area. I use LED high output lamps. These things work wonders for starting seeds. So I keep them over here on heat mats and whenever they get large enough to come out from under these, I take them over here to the sunny side and let them start growing over here. So that works out really good. Um, my greenhouse is heated with a pellet stove. I find that is probably the most efficient, money savvy way to heat a greenhouse. The only thing is the upfront cost of the stove and having it installed, but we were gonna have it installed by somebody, but after pricing it, my husband's like, no, I think I can do it. So we normally around here do things ourselves if we can. Most things we do ourselves just to save money. And we've always done that. We, we built this house. We only had a few things that we had to have someone come and do. So, but that is also a blessing because his dad taught him how to build as he was growing up and do all kinds of different trades and things like that. It really pays off. So that is how I heat the greenhouse. Now, this greenhouse now has energy efficient windows. This is the first year that I'm gonna have these. I put them, we put them in in the summertime. And what I like about them is you can raise the windows up to allow for cool air to come in, even in the wintertime, because you would not realize 
how hot it can get in here in the wintertime. That fan over here is a vent fan, which is an absolute need in a greenhouse. If you do not have ventilation in the greenhouse, you're gonna, it's gonna fail, I'm gonna tell you that. And it's also got a thermostat over there on the wall and I can put it to whatever temperature I want this greenhouse to be. So if I want this greenhouse, and it works more so in the winter time, if I want the greenhouse to be, you know, 83 degrees, then that fan will pull in that cool air until it reaches that degrees and then the fan will go off. So it works in the, in the summer too by keeping the greenhouse, you know, ventilated and it would probably be 140 in here if we didn't have the fan on. So I think the hottest it gets in here is probably in the mid 90s in the summer, but you know, that's, that's okay, that's tolerable as long as we have ventilation. But being able to open up all these windows has helped too and I know it will help, you know, in the winter time as well. We buy a whole pallet of pellets because it's cheaper if you buy the pallet. And I think we get them for about $300. So $300 heats my greenhouse all winter long. Um, the stove goes on most nights once winter has really set in. Um, my greenhouse will naturally stay about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. And then with the stove on, even warmer. So it does super good. My plants are never um, below 50 in here. So they do really good. And then most nights it's even warmer than that. We come down here in the evenings, generally after dinner, we turn the stove on. And then in the morning, we have to come back here and turn it off because of the temperature rebounds. Everything in here kind of warms up. The gravel, we've got gravel on the floor and it stays warm. Everything kind of retains heat throughout the winter. So it really kind of insulates pretty well the way we've got our setup here being adjoined again and next to the basement and a block wall back here on the north side. So everything works out pretty well. And for the places that we don't have these windows, we have Lexan, it's a quarter inch um, Lexan and it's pretty good for energy efficiency as well. So yeah, that is kind of what we do here in this greenhouse. It has a lot of uses, you know, whether it be for the garden, whether it be for my flower garden, or just stuff to come in here and enjoy plants, which I love. That is just something that kind of relaxes me and it's my hobby. And I use it also for our growing and homesteading kind of thing around here. If you guys have any questions about this greenhouse or want to know anything else about it, um, like I said, we've had it about three years now and I love it to death. I don't think there's too much I would have changed. We did have that Lexan all the way on this whole side. If you watch my older videos, we have videos building this greenhouse. This whole side was those glass panels and we changed it out to the windows and they're energy efficient windows and I absolutely love the change. I love the way it looks and I love the functionality of it. But um, there's not a lot of other things that I would really change about this. I haven't had a lot of problems with it. It works out super good and I just love it. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a wonderful and blessed day.